This is a follow on from my last video all about the Roland TR77 drum machine. Now, when I bought that drum machine, it came with this. Now, I actually saw this for sale and the drum machine was on top of it and that's why I bought it because I wanted that Roland TR77 otherwise known as the Ace Bentley, the Arthur Brown drum machine. However, this very, very heavy organ came with it and it's called the Wilson Globetrotter and I can assure you there's absolutely nothing globetrotting about this organ. It weighs a tonne. You know, I probably lost, you know, 20% of my body fat just lifting this up into my storage area. But it's a beautiful piece of engineering and I'm going to show you what condition it was in when I got it, a bit of basic cleaning on it and some really bad playing to demonstrate what it sounds like. Well then, let's take a closer look at this organ. I'm actually using my phone to show you this, so the pitch quality is not going to be very good. But this is called a Wilson Globetrotter, as it says there. And if we look here, we've got some various drawbars. I like drawbars, you know, they come in and out. Set the pipe length, push them all in. They will go in okay. Yep, yeah, they do. As you can see, the organ is very, very filthy. In fact, if you look at you know, this has been left in a loft or stored somewhere for a very long time in rather damp conditions. So all of this is going to have to be cleaned, sadly. or well, not so sadly, because if it's been left like this, at least you know it's not been tinkered around with too much. There's uh, some controls here for various sounds. And I do like on old electrical, because I do like these big chunky switches. There's something very tactile about this sort of thing, rather than... On a modern synthesizer going through a uh, you know sort of menu driven system i'm going to give this thing a clean as you can see looking at this it's absolutely filthy but then nothing that uh, a bit of elbow grease and my suitable cleaning implements couldn't sort out part of me thinks maybe i need to retro bright this only joking that's my little uh, little nod to the 8-bit guy but uh, this is this actually cleaned up quite well i'm very pleased just giving this a quick rinse and then in the in the sunshine that we've got left here um this should dry off well i won't be putting it this won't be going back onto the uh, organ until all the other work's done but yeah that's nice and clean now anyway well, it certainly makes a difference if you compare the keys I've just cleaned there with the ones that I haven't done. Um, but yeah, it's cleaning up very nicely, so i just carry on a bit more elbow grease and we should be there. I just opened up the lid on this combo organ, lifting up the top manual. This isn't a keyboard. This is a pure and utter work of art. Look at how all of this is wired up. It's absolutely stunning. Each key's got contacts on there. Um, these may need to be cleaned. Um, and I think all you do is you take these wires out, you untake these out, and then you can give them a clean and pop them back in. But I'm hoping I don't need to do that. But I mean, look at this. And the weird thing is, these components really don't look that old. I mean, you know, they've got to be got to be forty years old at least. But they just look in immaculate condition, and there's, and there's this like matrix panel here, and just the way all the cables are so neatly laced up. I mean, we used to have to do this a lot when I worked in broadcast engineering, and mostly. My lacing looked a bit more like that than the, this kind of standard. And then we've got a load more circuit boards here. I mean, this is an utter work of beauty. Um, I mean, it's all fairly modular, I would say. And I would guess that, you know, things like these, this drawbar assembly may well have been used in other instruments. And the keyboard design might have been used in other instruments as well. Chunky looking power supply there. Um, 
Again, I'm shooting this on my phone so you can't see it all, but you can see there's a big transformer there. Um, I mean, I'm hoping this is all okay. Um, I don't really want to have to strip this down and do any any detailed repairs, although it probably wouldn't hurt to whip the top off the power supply and have a look. But, I mean, you know, this is absolutely stunning. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Anyway, I'm just going to carry on with the cleaning now. Um, I did uh, break one of these knobs off here. It just splits into two halves, but these two wouldn't come off, and I think it's because they have been glued back in the past. So uh, the one that's broken, I'm just going to stick a bit of um, epoxy on it and stick it in a crevice overnight, and then that should be good to go back on. But all these sliders, anyway, I'm going to clean all the clean them all out with some uh, some contact cleaner or deoxit if you're in America, um, and then. Uh, I think give this another 45 minutes of cleaning, um, then I think I might plug it in and uh, have a quick listen. The way these sliders work are quite interesting, because from the front you think these are like some sort of heavy duty switch, but actually all it is is it's just a slider pot like the ones on the other end of the organ, and you've got this little guide here that just pulls it up and down, so you know actually they're quite, they're quite cheap. <laughs> Anyhow, I think what I might do is I might unscrew these, pull the sliders out if they'll come out all the way, and then I can clean in behind them. Or I might just give them a dab with a cotton bud or something. Um, and then I'll give them a clean in there with the oxit as well. That is absolutely lethal in every way. Well, this literally took me a couple of minutes to do, and now it's wired up perfectly safe. I will pop in a 3 amp fuse at some point because that's a more suitable value for this type of cable. Incidentally, looking at the cable, it does conform to the standard modern colour coding. Um, so this would suggest as well that the age of the organ is more in the 80s than in the 70s when mains cables quite often were red and black rather than brown and blue. Looking at the back of the organ, we've got the mains on off switch here. Headphone socket, main output and a master volume control. There's an input control, an input here. This would have probably been what you would have plugged a drum machine into like the um, Roland TR77 that I talked about the other day. There's a multi IO there for the pedal board, which is basically the bass pedals. This pitch control is like a master tuning control. I'll stick that in the middle and we'll see how it tunes up. So this was made by Webo Electronics and it's called the, oh, I was made in Italy, Welson, serial number, it's all there, that's good. So that's our kind of church organ sound which is powered by these draw bars. Now I don't know how this thing works but if we basically hit some buttons like this, now this sounds a bit more exciting. You can see the lids back on here and you'll see it disappear when I do the payoff of this video. That's because this section of the video I actually filmed after I filmed the end of the video. Confused? Doesn't matter. I found a few more little effects on this thing. So if I'm playing the chord here, it's then got like a simulated Leslie. So if I press the button, so you get that sort of fast Leslie to do the older. And then if you slow it down, Okay, so we take the organ as it is, completely dead. Uh, I'll just play a chord there, bring out the... So 
that's just adding this percussion sound, which is kind of coming off the clavinet. So yeah, you've got this kind of percussion sound that adds, uh, you know, a bit of a... Turn it off. And you've also got um, presets on this. If I hit jazz... stick some of the percussion on it so there you have it this is the first real low budget YouTube film I've done today because I forgot to bring my camera with me so I shot all of this on my mobile phone but I hope it gives you the idea about this fairly unknown obscure piece of technology but at the same time absolutely beautifully made and very functional and still sounds decent I mean you can use this for recording I'm gonna keep this in here in the studio for a while and you know it might well turn up on something that I do in the future but the fact it's this old stays in tune has very usable sounds on it I think this is a great great piece of uh, Italian design and you know it could be up there with you know Maserati or Ferrari of the organ world um, I think they're Italian. I'll have to ask my mate, Roger. He knows about Ferraris. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.